Hi everyone, I'm Laurel Marie Hickey. Welcome to What's Plank Got To Do With It. Our summer milestone series number two, what's a new home purchase got to do with it? So you've set aside a budget, you know what your income and expenses are like, and you have met with a financial institution and they have provided you with a guidance on amount that you can spend to purchase a new home. You've got your money set aside for the deposit. You've had a conversation with your trusted advisor about how to access those funds on a very quick basis. And you are setting yourself up for success in case you find the most amazing home and you want to act very quickly. So you're working with a trusted uh, real estate advisor or you have support, whatever support you need in that regard and you have found your place. You've put an offer on the property and you've got it. And so they've said, yes, the, we accept your offer and whatever conditions you have on the property, you're working with your real estate advisor, your specialist on this, but it's time now for you to get that money from your investments. So it's very important to have a conversation with your trusted wealth advisor before you start to look, just so that they're aware that you might be looking, need to have some funds accessible. Know that if everything has happened so quickly and you weren't expecting to buy a place right away, but you found something and, and you offered it and it was expected, uh, know that we have recently moved to T1 settlement in the financial industry. So literally you could have your money in two days. And so we really like that there is availability for our clients, but we always like to do some planning in advance. If you were to take money out of your portfolio for a home, how much is left over to be invested and what would your savings need to be adjusted to for any goals, dreams, and desires that you may have in the future for retirement and things like that. So we think it's great for you to move forward with all of your life goals, dreams, and desires. And we just wanna make sure that the numbers work for you. So next up, you're sending the deposit over to secure that property and you will have a move-in date, a closing date. And so closing dates are, are variable. They're all set up in the contract and, and the exciting part of it is that you will be moving into your new home. And at the same time, you will be moving out of your existing home. So of course you'll give notice and make preparations to move. That first day when you walk into your new home, no matter how much you planned it out, your furniture would go here, it would go there, it would go everywhere. No matter what, until you're actually in your home, you won't totally get a feel for what it will look like. And do you need a little table and a nook here? Do you need to upgrade something on your patio? So it's important that I always like for you to have a buffer uh, amount set aside for additional purchases. It could be something that you have automatically or it could be a goal over a period of time, but you may want to add in some items or you may need to do some renovations. So working with your trusted advisor about a budget for that and what that would look like would be really amazing. Next up, you moved into the property. And so now you are starting your commute to work or to school or to wherever you're going, and it might be quite different. So we always say it's great if you maybe just do a practice run to see how long it will take you to get to work or, or certainly let, let your employers know or your school know that it might take a little bit longer because you have a new uh, path to get to work. So you might find some expenses will shift now. So if you are moving a little bit further out than where you were before, perhaps you were walking to work. So your budget will shift. It will shift for your transportation. You also will have new items. So you're gonna have property taxes. You're gonna have expenses to upkeep your home. And so having a brand new budget is something that we really recommend. So we have a great spreadsheet that we work with our clients, but just know that it's going to be completely different than what your current budget is if this is your brand new very first home. 
If you are sharing a home with someone, maybe it's the first time you've lived together, uh, of course you're money married now. So you might want to also just look to see what insurance selections you need to have on your home. Will you buy insurance with the financial institution that's lent you the money, or will you look at insurance on its own? And once again, your trusted wealth advisor, insurance advisor can help answer this question. But something that we do like to also have a conversation with our clients is now that you do have of a home, you also want to make sure that you have your estate plan updated. So you now have new assets and so you may want to have a look to see if you want to update your estate plan. So and ensuring that you have an updated will, personal health directive, power of attorney. So having a conversation with your trusted wealth advisor, estate advisor, to see if there's any changes that need to be made. Finally, I'll share the number one thing that people forget to share they forget to share what their new address is, their new contact information with their financial institutions, with their friends, with their family. You're so excited to move in that all of a sudden you're like, where is my mail? My, my mail is not coming. So it's important that you do uh, ensure that your address has changed. And certainly it's important if you have moved and you have investment information coming to you that this is complete before December 31st. Otherwise, the communications, the tax items will go to your previous uh, residence as opposed to your new residence. So that's the number one thing that we find is that clients actually don't provide that information and then you're kind of doing it ad hoc at a later basis. These are just a few tips and tricks that we like to look at. We just think it's really exciting when clients do have a milestone and they purchase their first home. Having a conversation with your trusted wealth advisor is key. We love these conversations with our clients. Please always feel free to reach out to me if you have any questions or anything I can help with at all. I'm Laurel Marie Hickey. I am a portfolio manager and certified financial planner.